Hey guys, it's Telemachus and I'm excited to present a new feature of Villain and in case you don't know, Villain is a backdoor generator and multi-session handler that allows users to connect with each other and interact with four initial sessions. The new feature is a Netcat wannabe multi-listener, uh, a multi-session handler, which gives you the opportunity to basically use any common Netcat listener based reversal, like the all-time favorite ones we all know and use from sources like Payload All The Things, Revcells.com and so on. Villain can now grab those cells and share them among connected sibling servers. And check this out, I went on RevCells.com and I grabbed a bunch of reverse cells written in various languages and I'm going to spam as many of them as I can to demonstrate how Villain handles these reverse connections. So let's start over, we're going to execute multiple Netcat listener based reverse cells and see how Villain can handle them. I'm gonna start with the simplest option one could start. I have downloaded the Netcat executable, it's saved in this folder and I'm gonna run it, execute the command prompt and connect back to this attacking server. And we got already one session, we'll see how we can interact with this, but first let's gather many. Uh, I'm gonna grab this, start PowerShell again, I'm gonna navigate to this folder that I have uh, Netcat saved in. And I'm going to run it one more time, but this time I'm going to execute PowerShell instead. And we got one more session and uh, I want to grab a Windows PowerShell reverse cell that, is, that doesn't not, does not use Netcat. But it's uh, designed to work with a Netcat listener and I'm going to execute it right here and now we should have three uh, Windows based uh, sessions, it's right here and let's do some Linux based ones and you can see in these multiple tabs that I have opened I have basically copied um, payload templates from RevCells.com not all of them but many many of them the Perl, uh, Bass, Python, Netcat, I mean the traditional command we, we will see it, Ruby also, SoCat, I have copied Telnet, I have copied all this, it's uh, right here in this and this terminal. We're going to execute them and see what's going to happen. Let's begin. So we run this, we got a Netcat session and I'm going to run many so we can uh, gather many sessions and see what else we can do. This one, I'm skipping it for now. I'm going to come back to this. This is the Pentest Monkey PHP reversal script. It's more than a one liner. It's actually a whole script. It's right here. It's quite large in comparison with the other payloads we run. Uh, this is a bit special. We'll come back to this. So let's go to these PHP cells. Let's run them. So you can see we're gathering uh, sessions. This is Perl. I'm gonna run this. What else we got? This one uh, doesn't work. This payload. It's the the Perl no cell. I think we can find it here somewhere. Perl no cell. This there's something deprecated in this one. Something is outdated. Outdated. Something doesn't work. It doesn't have to do with villain. So let's just. Uh, past this one. I'm going back to the villain instance and we can see we have grabbed a bunch of cells. And here's something new also about this update that they introduced the Netcat multi handler. You can also do this command which is uh, called backdoors and it's very similar to sessions but it has two different columns, the output, and it can tell you what type of cell you have and with, with what listener because as you probably remember this tool initially supported this hoaxel based uh, cells and this is also something that will be distinguished if you do this command now right here with that said let's go to the other terminal and execute a few more cells so i have python 2 here it will run uh, the burn cell And uh, this runs bass. This is Python 3, also born cell. Python 3 with bass. This is uh, 
this will spawn bus as well different syntax ruby another ruby and one more ruby reversal and here's a so cut so okay let's go back to villain we have a bunch of new sessions now let's clear and do backdoors you can see that we very quickly established many netcat listener based cells and we can of course interact the way that you know if you have used this tool you can just do something like that and let's just for the example sake let's interact with the windows uh, cell let's do this um, let's interact with this one okay so it is b4 I will do something more intense here, system info. I made a mistake. So here it is. There's one more feature I want to demonstrate here. It comes with this new update and I'm getting back now to the PHP monkey shell. Uh, Pentest monkey, sorry. <laughs> uh, I have it saved right in this file. Let's read it okay so it's the pentest monkey php reverse cell so here's what's gonna happen i have created many let's say uh string operations and controls to, to when you when villain receives a, a, a request to connect it's trying to understand what cell is it dealing with is it like the command prompt is it power cell is it some unique cell uh, and also it's trying to retrieve this information about which is the user running the cell and what is the uh, computer name, the host name. Uh, but uh, all of these cells interact differently. And uh, although I did the best I could to like manage all of these uh, variations, there's, it's very possible that some of these string operations will not work with everything. For example, this cell is really different in the way it connects back it sends some information it's on its own so it actually creates kind of a problem because the connection is established and there's no problem to interact with it but it kind of breaks the this table because i i have not added a control particularly for this php monkey cell so in case you run in this problem and you see that it's not really most of the most of the templates really work out of the box but if you run in this problem you can just use a new command called repair and then you will just add uh, the session id and then you have the option to repair either the username or the host name and th in this example the problem seems to be the username so i'm going to correct this username and i'm going to make it root and if i do this operation now my table is restored and this cell and of course you can check who was the user you can just do exec uh, who am i but th that doesn't go there this is the way you would check it if you need it and you can just repair it yourself so you don't really have a problem if you will if you use an exotic payload or an obfuscated payload and the connection you get back uh, is kind of uh, destroyed it's not correct you can just repair it and you are not going to have a problem and i have a few reverse cells left here so i'm going to execute them just to finish this example this is with z cell this is with uh, this is bus probably oak and this is telnet and we should have four more yes we have four more sessions it's right here so let's connect with a sibling server and interact uh, with the cells from another host i have another kali vm running right here i'm gonna start villain again here we have no sessions no siblings i'm going to connect solve the challenge if i can type okay we made it and now we have 26 additional cell sessions how cool is that i'm just gonna randomly pick a few i'm gonna okay let's do actually backdoors and be able to see what we have here we're not doing this because this we've seen it before we're doing some netcat based cells let's start with this the first one p4 
and I'm going to do Huamai and uh, something more intense, maybe system info. You see that the command is delivered to the other server for execution and the output is delivered back here. Uh, let's do a Unix based session now. I'm just gonna pick this randomly. Um, Let's do also something a bit more it intense. This could be a little more intense as a command. And this is how we interact with foreign uh, cells. I'd also like to show you that there is some state uh, control here with the netcat backdoors. And not only, but this, is, this was easier because it's socket based and it was easier to kind of control. So for example, if we lose a session and I'm gonna control C this one, you will see that uh, you will get informed very soon that hey, this connection seems to be lost and also the sibling server will be informed that it was uh, probably lost and if we do sessions now we can see that we have lost one session the Hoxel one, uh, where is it? if we lose this, uh, it works a bit differently where is this? this is running in the background so we have to kill it uh, if we want to see it what happens when it dies so i'm just gonna do echo see what process i have here and then i'm, I'm just gonna find oh i have here yeah, i have many i can really distinguish which one is i'm gonna gonna kill a few of them um okay yeah i hit it uh oh no this was actually a netcat one you know what, I'm just gonna kill them all. Why not? Just to see the difference in reaction with the Hoxel base cell. It was not this one. Actually, it's this one. So in conclusion, the state of uh, each backdoor is monitored in order to be able to tell you, hey, listen, we've lost the session. Uh, but there's a difference with netcat listener-based cells and uh, hoax cell-based cells because this one is actually socket-based, so I can know, I can check periodically to see if uh, a connection is alive. But this one is actually based on exchanging information via HTTPS, HTTP or HTTPS, and it's, it's not like it that easy. Uh, a connection could be characterized as undefined and be restored while this is kind of terminal if you see this i don't believe it's probably dead but this is questionable so this is why you see undefined sometimes you might even see it get back to active be aware that these are not fully interactive pty's meaning if you run a command that starts a new process in the cells process you're probably going to break it i'm gonna grab one and test this right now. For example, if I do, um, who am I here? Okay. Ah, also, an important detail is that I've also added a function that if it uh, detects uh, ANSI escape uh, sequences, it will not print the output with this green color that I usually um, color it with. It will keep the cells uh, ANSI sequences. So, for example, this is bus, and also you can see this in Z cell reversals you can just keep uh, the color that uh, bus has and uh, i think it's better this way so to finish this example if you run a command uh, that starts an interactive section inside this um, cells process which for example and this is a working cell i can run commands in here if i do bus which would start a new bus process in here i will probably lose my cell so that's the new feature and I believe it adds a lot to this tool as Netcat is like the bread and butter when it comes to reversals. I also intend to redesign the generate command so that the user can get Netcat based payloads instead of just Hoxel based ones and do it this really fast and also add an option to maybe start multiple Netcat multi listeners so that the user can have handlers listening on various ports. And once again, I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.